So let's talk a little bit about um, problems and where things go wrong and, and give you some examples of work that uh, I've dealt with and, and clients without, without naming too many names unless they're in the kind of public domain. First of all, everyone has issues. Everyone has problems to deal with. Um, probably the biggest mistake that I find some leaders and leadership t teams make is thinking that once they've identified a problem, it will go away. In my experience, it hardly ever does. They always appear and they nearly always appear bigger. So when you're aware of an issue or a problem, tackle it. Uh, and I can give you a quick um, instance of um, uh, a large, uh, successful organization I was consulting to quite recently. It was actually a, a media PR crisis with the perception of um, uh, the competence of one of the key leaders was questioned. And it was actually a misperception and it was handled uh, very un uh, quite unfairly and badly within the media. Um, but it became a, a media item. And rather than dealing with it, uh, confronting it and addressing the issues, it was kind of swept under the carpet as this will go away. And of course, it didn't go away. It came back much more and it, it, it ended up spreading beyond that particular individual and <laughs> infecting, as it were, the whole company and the perception of the company. And by the time they came to me and we worked together, um, it actually very unusually required a major repositioning and a rebranding and a renaming which was done you know very successfully um, but it's another example as well of the truth being in what people see and perceive you as not necessarily being in the truth itself this particular individual was very hard done by um, but actually trying to go forward and, and put an aggressive defense made it look e even worse. So, you know, you needed to kind of build on all the other positives, which is what we did. What other key uh, examples of poor or wrong decision making that I encounter is is not stepping back and seeing the bigger picture uh, and taking a bigger creative perspective of the position that your organization is in. Because you, again, you're so buried within your business that you don't take time to look outside of the business that you're operating in and take learning perhaps even from other categories. A classic example um, from years ago would have been Kodak. Uh, and I was working with them um, you know, years ago. They came to us when we were doing their advertising work with them a new product at the time, which was called Advantix. And it was it was a neat development of what they were doing, but it was still basically kind of printed silver nitrate technology. And they had basically minimized the print so that you could select from the photographs that you had taken uh, and choose which ones that you wanted replicated in a smaller printing style. And yes, it was an improvement for where they were going. But even at that time, we were already into the world of um, digital imagery. And, and so I said to the, the regional head of Kodak, I said, look, um, this is great. We can do this for you. But <laughs> the core thing we've given you is a key idea of keeping your favorite memories with Kodak. Keep it with Kodak was our key thought and idea. And I said, it doesn't really matter what format you deliver it in. It's more important that you own that association with keeping your most precious memories with Kodak. Um, and we're in the digital area now. Era now. Why, why are you not putting this into a digital format? And he said, Peter, you don't understand. Uh, and I said, what don't I understand? And, and he said, you know, our business, which has been going for 60 years now, the cash cow is basically in the silver nitrate processing of, of that's where the money is. And we're not going to change that. And then, so they didn't step out and see what the world was happening around them. Even though, ironically, the technology around digital imagery came from a Kodak engineer. It's it's completely ironic. Um, and of course, you know, people just don't keep it with Kodak anymore. They keep it in stored digital formats, and they could still have done that if Kodak had owned. 